Like pho is like the base mm. level Asian thing. I think pho on a scale is even more Asian than ramen. Asian, does this word still have meaning? Is it just outdated and kind of cringy? Well, I'm making the case that we need to keep using this word because it is still relevant today and one of the uniquely Asian American words that we have. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun one, guys. Let us know if you agree, disagree. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to the video that we're talking about today. We are gonna be talking about intra-Asian American terms, whether it's A-Z-N, A-B-G, J-D-M, A-Y-C-E, K-B-B-Q, Zanga, Fred, they're Asian <laughs> avenues, whatever. Uh, I don't think that these terms mean a lot to your average American. I don't even know what y'all guys are talking about, but they mean a lot in the Asian American community, specifically the Asian American internet community. Yeah, so guys, we're gonna go over the definition of what I believe AZN is and why it relates to our everyday life today as Asian Americans, or a lot of our lives today. And also we're gonna talk about our experiences with AZN culture, where we lived, where do we go, what are some Asian ASEAN venues, and also why should we preserve terms like this as Asian Americans, guys? So if you are interested by this video, please hit that like button right now and check out more episodes of the Hot Pop Boys because that's kind of an ASEAN name for wow. us to pick. Um, Andrew, Chad GPT defines ASEAN culture as uh, the cultural practices, values, and experiences of people who identify as Asian American, specifically referring to the ASEAN 1.0 days of 1993 to 2003. We talking about Johnny Angel, JDM, Hot mm -hmm. Import Nights, Import Models before the IG models. We're talking about raves, mm -hmm. rave hands. Uh, if you were more in a Filipino ASEAN culture, it was more like Panay, that band, yeah, or yeah, All yeah. for One. If you're more on the Korean side, we're talking about HOT, a lot of drag racing, a lot of, you know, ASEAN things. Yeah, and I would say all those things you named are very defining of ASEAN culture. But I think, and this is my definition now, because I still see ASEAN happen all day, everywhere I go. Right, you're not just talking about the prelude, the I'm, Honda prelude. I am not just talking about the aesthetic. I think when I say... Yo, I'm trying to bring the term AZN back. Some people are like, no, why do you want to bring back the bleach tips? Why do you want to type right. like they this? They think you're trying to bring back 2002. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm referring to. What I'm trying to say is that AZN is a mindset. It's you being Asian, proud of being Asian, hanging out with other Asians. You're unapologetic about it. Who knows? You might even be willing to fight people about it because you're that, you got that attitude about you, right. about being Asian. So you're saying the AZN mindset did not vanish in 2005 once everybody thought it was like, <laughs> uncool and cringe to use yeah. that word. And it's super prevalent today. Another addition to this meaning is that when you're AZN and you're hanging out with other Asians, you're not as concerned with how the mainstream views you. Though that's what I mean by being unapologetic. You're not necessarily concerned with Hollywood. You are you're doing your Kev own thing. You're saying Kevin Wynn and Jenny Tran are not trying to be in Crazy Rich Asians 2 or Everything Everywhere All at Once number two. They might have watched the movie, but they don't care to be in it, man, because ultimately... You don't need mainstream representation if you're AZN. Yeah, you I would agree with that. You just need AZN representation. And here's another thing. Let's be honest. AZN, it is more Southeast Asian American leaning. It yeah, is. I would agree. You don't have to be Southeast Asian to be AZN. So what are some AZN venues in 2023? Because All right. you're using a term, Andrew, that's 20 years out of use. All right, let me talk about this, guys. Plenty big AZN venues. Arena Nightclub, LA and SF. Time, Commissary out in the OC. Labyrinth in San Jose. The Old Wonder Bar in Boston. Yeah, that's a deep cut one. Red Lantern in Boston. Old Tango in Philly. Yeah, that's another one. Heart in Houston. Maybe even Den Social, okay? That's that's a little bit leaning more on the East Asian AZN, but still, I would maybe put it in there. Fat Buddha in New York, old Fat Buddha, a little bit AZN as well. Guys, right, you're, you did name a lot of a, uh, spots where the crowd is about 80% Asian and they play a lot of hip hop mixed with EDM just yes, now. Yes, and all types of Asian go. AZN is definitely a pan-Asian term, but instead of it being centered around East Asian culture, I do think it's more centered around Southeast Asian culture. Okay, so do you believe in the representation waves of the AZN 2? 2.0 and 3.0, which was, uh, we already covered 1993 to 20, 2003, right? But 2007 to 2017 was the AZN YouTuber boom in Southern California, mm -hmm. specifically LA. We were a part of it. Yeah. And then now 2018 to current 2023, AZN 3.0 is more of the mainstream actors getting on, whether in the white world or the black yeah. world, Hollywood or hip hop. Do you agree? Does this vibe with your AZN thing? Or you're like, nah, that's just like a representation wave. It has nothing to do with AZN. Exactly. When I'm thinking about mainstream American culture, I think AZN is not necessarily mainstream. 
I just mm. don't think I don't think you're concerned with the mainstream. Listen, when you're AZN, guys, listen. No, if you, you got your friends, you got your family, you got your career, or you're like a business that you're running, and you're not concerned about whether we're getting enough Golden Globes or Oscars or like getting on SNL. You, you know what I think is funny is that everybody uses the term ABG now. They still use it. Maybe it's an aesthetic, but you use the term ABG. But where do you think that term comes from? It comes from the AZN era. Mm. And it comes from that AZN mindset because ABGs, most likely date other Asian people. They ABBs like Asian dudes. Or Asian ABBs. gangsters, at least at that time. Where do you think the Kevin Wynn and Jenny Tran meme come from? Yeah. That comes from the AZN world. So I'm telling you, AZN exists, but a lot of people leaned away from using that term because they think it sounds silly or they can only think of the bleach blonde yeah. tips. I hear like, a lot of like writers, writers use it on Twitter nowadays in an ironic sense. Guys, listen. If you go with your Asian friends and you guys go eat pho and then get boba afterwards and then go to a primarily Asian nightclub venue. Where people are vaping. You're being AZN. Those are AZN activities. Right. There's no way around but it. But yeah, definitely we expanded beyond JDM cars because a lot of Asians got exotics from For Europe sure. and things like that. Teslas. Um, what are our own experiences with AZN culture? Obviously growing up in Seattle, I would say they got a lot more nowadays, but I would say back then Seattle maxed out at like 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10. We definitely had a more Filipino version of AZN yeah. culture with All for One and Panay and those different groups because Filipinos are really heavy culturally in the Bay Area and Seattle. But I know in uh, like LA and stuff, they had more of a East Asian or Viet centric one, depending yeah. on whether you were in uh, six two six or OC. I mean, there's there were we there were street races of a bunch of Asian people, mm. ASEAN people doing street races Peel back off. then. off! What you want to do? I just remember that. Uh, yeah. So I think for us, like when I look at. Um, obviously living in 626, which is fairly AZN. 8 out of 10 at yeah. max, but not OC, San Jose, Houston, 10 out of 10 max. No, Those no, no, places no. are the 10 out of yes, 10. Yes, Houston, OC, San Jose probably are the centers of AZN, by the way. However, because there's a lot of Southeast Asians and particularly Vietnamese and Chinese Vietnamese there, which I do want to reiterate that it does lean towards Southeast Asian culture. So you have to be down. In order to be AZN, you got to be down with some Southeast Asian culture and people. Would, do you think it's possible that ASEAN culture is just hybrided with a bunch of other things nowadays. Like, for example, Andrew, uh, I think Den Social is like an ASEAN hip-hop spot mixed with Korean culture. ADA mm. Rising is ASEAN culture mixed with third culture elite, almost like pop culture uh, American school kids from Asia. Mission Nightclub, in my opinion, or like Exchange LA is like ASEAN mixed with fobs, mixed with like more um, house drum and bass EDM culture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like all these things can be like a hybrid now. No spots are like pure 100% AZN anymore. They're they're mixed with another subculture. Yeah, I mean, I think, again, and this is going to sound funny to a lot of people, but I think AZN is a spectrum, mm. just as a lot of things are, guys. So when we talk about 88 Rising, right? Now, 88 Rising, it's Asian artists, but they're global Asian artists, right? Now, when yeah, go- and they're pan-Asian in the sense that Joji's from Japan, obviously, and Nikki is from yeah. uh, Indonesia, Rich yeah. Brian's from Indonesia. Yeah, so there is that Southeast Asian crossover, oh, like I a said. Filipino artist nowadays. Exactly, yeah. so I'm saying that 88 Rising is kind of Asian. So if you go to an ADA Rising concert, maybe you don't only see Asian people, but it's a lot of Asians wanting to be around other Asians to watch Asian but artists. it's a specific type of AZN, though. It's yeah. more a little bit ritzy, subculture, Peggy Go, Yeji type thing. That's what I would say. I mean, guys, I just want to say, like, as far as our own experiences go, like, I've been to a lot of those AZN venues that I just mentioned. I've literally been there myself. So when we go to all these different cities, we kind of do check out the Asian spots. And yeah, yeah. Houston, by the way, wins for... Yeah, most ratchet. <laughs> I do think you almost, and this is like, I don't know if people consider this like a trivial aspect of being Asian. You almost have to be down with eating pho. Like pho is like the base mm. level Asian thing. I think pho on a scale is even more Asian than ramen because ramen is reaching that level of like Weaboos and everybody like, likes ramen and then it's all it's like hyper expensive, super blah, blah, blah. A little more for the anime nerd crowd. Yeah, yeah but, but, like but pho spots honestly are cubs of of Asian communities, yeah. like anywhere you are. A pho pasture and rosemead, shout out to them, man. You see a lot of ABGs there. <laughs> um, why don't the Asian community, why doesn't the Asian American community, I'm sorry, more embrace intra-Asian American terms? Because it feels like there've been so many that were so descriptive and they've sort of fallen out of favor over time. And we've almost regressed because I know I was talking to my Mexican friend, Andrew, they were saying within their community, it's not like a hundred out of a hundred people use them. They got Chicano. That's more like Ralph Barbosa. Paisa, which is more like George Lopez. Pocho, Mexican, which is for more for white Mexicans. They got a lot of like intra-Mexican terms used to like describe their different dynamics. But Asians almost seem like we have them pop up and then we like, say they're too cringe and we stop using them. Exactly. Why are we so caught up with what's cringe? 
Now, I get it that some things are cheesy, some things are corny. Preppy but, Asian hood, Asian blah, But blah, to blah. me, AZN is literally a unique Asian word. Listen, as an Asian community, if we call ourselves the Asian community, right? What do you need to have a community? You need to have your own intra slang. Mm, you're saying it's not a community until there is in tribe lingo that people outside a tribe are completely unaware of. Yeah, I'm not saying other people can't use AZN, but I'm just trying to sit, put a set definition to what I think AZN means in a reasonable sense. You might disagree with me. Let me know in the comments down below, but that's what I think. And I think that as Asian Americans, we need to still value those words as silly as they may seem. Yeah. Again, I'm not trying to bring back the look, the aesthetic of AZN, but I'm saying AZN I, lives on. I think on. a lot of it is that the Asians that have a lot of huge impact pull generally like are not from the AZN world or even if they are from the AZN world, they don't really let on that they were. Like for example, if you guys know, I'll give a shout out to Aquafina. She knows about AZN stuff. Like yeah. Aquafina been in Flushing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of people might just think she was like between like Williamsburg and then Hollywood. Nah, she she like seen it, but it's not necessarily a big part of her, uh, something that she's like making movies about. Now, what I'm noticing is that, you know, shout out to Simu, people like Simu who you wouldn't really imagine are fit the term AZN. Like we've gone out with him in Toronto after one of those, uh, kind of Asian celebrity basketball games. And we all went to Midnight Market and Big Trouble. Those two spots are AZN in Toronto. No, they were almost about to play Tie My Shoe. That's how AZN they yeah, were. Yeah, so like I, I'm saying like, I think there is, there is some value. I think people are valuing the AZN spots in a way that maybe the mainstream Asians weren't valuing before. Cause they're like, listen, at the end of the day, that is the community. That's a lot of people who well, follow Jack. A lot Jack. of younger Asians yeah. in their th early thirties are getting on now who, who like went through the AZN yeah. but, but that's a lot of people who follow Jackfruit. Shout out to Jackfruit. Now I will say this, I love Next Shark. I think Jackfruit is a little more AZN than Next Shark. Makes yeah. sense, right? Um, Andrew, AZN-ness is not a binary, right? You're not either AZN or completely non-AZN. There are like degrees, right? You could be 20%, 40%, <laughs> 60, 70, all the way up to your homie who's still like living in the old days with a JDM now whip, you know, uh, that's at 100 out of 100, right? Yeah I, think, yeah, I think at the 10 out of 10, you're not paying attention to the mainstream. But I think that, uh, there's a healthy balance. Like for me, I do identify as part Asian. Of course, we couldn't have gone to all those Asian clubs and we can't say that we're not Asian. We grew up around Southeast Asians. You know, mm. my best friend's Richie. I love Vietnamese food. Oh, I, 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 we used to type in sticky keys a little bit. Yeah, so, dude, kind of Asian. I'm not saying I'm 10 out of 10, you know, but I'm on the scale. What, like a three <laughs> at least, right? I'm on the spectrum. Not, right. I'm not... <laughs> I guess let us know in the comment section below, guys, how important is it that the Asian American community has intra-Asian lingo that other people aren't aware of? Or is it just not even that serious? Let us know what's AZN mean to you and let us know also in the comment section below what percentage AZN you are and justify yourself. I, uh, I would like to just announce to everybody that for 2023, I am campaigning to bring AZN back. Yeah. As a term and as a word, I would love for AZN to enter and re-enter the young Asian American lexicon. Yeah. That's what cool, my man. It's an edgy type of Pan-Asianism. I like it. You know, I, I don't think AAS majors all like it because they might not, you know, I don't know if they come from it or not or they don't identify hey, with it. Comment down below. Debate with me. Fine. I stand. I will fight for this term. Bring <laughs> AZN back in 2023. It's uh, only been, hey guys, everything's retro now. Styles retro. Whips are, you know, old whips. Or the valuations are out of control. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Silly to serious. Hot pot boys, you know, breaking it down. Until next time, we out. Peace.